wallet weekends your legends for this week on the defensive side of the ball pat tillman the only negative i would say about this card is the man coverage is a little bit low but great speed great zone coverage on the offensive side of the ball we have got mark clayton a pretty speedy receiver tied for the fastest stock speed in the game at 92 and then your ltd probably the best card of this week Derek brooks he's got that legend x factor we don't know what it is i assume it's probably gonna be like a lurk artist legend x factor 91 speed 91 block shit and i'm pretty sure he's gonna have 90 zone and probably at least 85 plus man coverage but if you missed the other content this week let's recap it a little bit divisional dynasties dropped on wednesday alongside team of the week if i'm being honest the overall 91 cards and the 88 overall cards not the best but the market implications of this content drop which was essentially team affinity from last year in team builders is it, it was awesome i mean we made a ton of coins investing in 82s 84s and 86s i'm sorry i was not able to mention on market monday i have to be a little bit tighter with what we're investing in to protect the coin bible members moving forward that's just something i'm gonna have to do because they are gonna be a little bit more uh, prioritized in that sense but this is what i'm not afraid to share 88 overall diamond uh, divisional dynasty sets 91 overall divisional dynasty sets they are going to be profitable for the foreseeable future just like how team builders in the beginning of the year for the first month or two is usually the best sets to do to make coins the only downside of these type of sets they take a little bit to sell the cards but you're usually making 10 plus k after tax at least in the 88s the 91s if you're willing to put in the time you're gonna make 20 25k after tax these sets are going to be very, very profitable and very good. It's just, are you willing to put in the grind uh, to make the sets? Because you have to buy a lot of cards to build each one of these sets. Divisional Dynasties, if you want to make coins, you get to sit down and do these sets. If you want extended coverage of the market and how I make my coins, subscribe to the Coin Bible exclusively on Team Get Lucky. Link in the description. And then the other content drop this week was all Madden Part 2. And I actually was not on for the first hour or two of this content was released and it had a turbulent uh, release at that. So the stats of these cards, for whatever reason, were just nerfed from the cards and the stats they showed on Good Morning Madden for like the first 30 minutes. And well, if you know the Madden community and how they are, they're gonna panic. And the 91 overall all Madden cards, the new ones like went down to 500K because they all had like minus one or minus two speed from what they originally showed. Of course, they did end up fixing the stats about 30 minutes after the cards release, but the effects and the damage to the 91 overall all madden market and especially the 88 overall market uh just wasn't it wasn't fixable the 88s which probably should have been going for 130 to 135 I and mean, we had champ bailey probably the best corner in the game uh they were pretty much going for 120 to 125 throughout most of the day speaking of all madden one thing to note the all madden ltds brian dawkins and warren moon as you've seen by the screen the, the screenshot on your screen they are actually in packs until Monday morning. So essentially Sunday is the last day. So if you're waiting or you want to buy these cards, I would not buy them today. Maybe you could buy them Saturday if they significantly drop, like Brian Dawkins, for example, with Pat Tillman releasing. But wait until at least Saturday afternoon and preferably till Sunday to pick up Warren Moon or Brian Dawkins. Warren, I wouldn't invest in either of these guys, but I, Brian Dawkins is like the best safety in the game. So if you want him for your team, you're going to have to probably pick him up before that other thing too with the all madden uh make sure you are grinding the field pass because you do get a choose one of three b and d it is random at the end of the field pass but that's a pretty damn good reward you're probably gonna get 500k of b and d value from this reward now on to the title of this video the harvest promo leak so we got amari cooper 87 overall and patrick certain the second uh 87 overall from amazon prime rewards i think this past wednesday or Thursday. Now, the unique thing about them, of course, they're 87 overalls, is when you go to the card art on the card, you will notice that there is a 92 overall stipulation to get the full Patrick Sertain the second Harvest card. There also is the same thing for Amari Cooper, which pretty much confirms one, those both players, and they also even have like the champion card art that's different from the Amazon Prime card art. It's pretty much confirmed that they are getting 92 overall champions and the bigger picture uh 92 overall champions for harvest now season two expires season three starts next wednesday we talked about this a bunch on market monday how we could potentially see that early overall jump that two week window like we saw with the 89 overalls we jumped to 90 overalls a week early for season two it looks like we're going to be getting the same thing for season three now of course season two 
we only have till Wednesday if you've not been keeping up the rewards for both that and the competitive pass make sure you get all caught up and you get the rewards if you're close to like something very very good but 92 overalls are, are you know they're pretty much confirmed to be starting probably next Thursday and since learning that information I talked about it also on Monday the thought the process of selling your team because we are going into one of the best times to buy your team back with bullets in two weeks but i was wondering like hey if we were to get an overall boost for season three it's only a week away it's probably a pretty good time to sell your team and then either buy it back when we get 92s but more better probably wait until blitz and i have sold my team as seen by the blank spots on my offense and also my defense you will see um, I had a most feared 50 to 50 team team. I didn't really have the most up-to-date players from the past two weeks, but I had like the best team in the game from two weeks ago. Um, ended up selling it just because I wasn't going to play any games this weekend. Unfortunately, I do have to buy my team back like next Thursday and Friday because I have MCS ladders next weekend, also Elims during the Blitz weekend. If you have sold your team um, in prep for the 92 overalls and in prep for the Blitz promo, I would highly recommend you don't buy until Blitz. Um, especially, it usually takes about a week for the market to adjust to a new overall phase. Perfect example, we got all Madden, or we got 91 overalls just this past Thursday. We just now are seeing this weekend, like 89 overalls have dropped from 200k to 115. Uh, the 91, or the 90 overall most feared cards went from like 350, 400. They're now in the mid to low 200k's. Like it takes usually a week for the market to adjust to the new odds, the new overalls, the new everything. And... We're getting 92s next Thursday, more than likely. You're going to want to wait at least a week for the market to adjust. And that's perfect because after that week, you know, after that week happens, well, we have Blitz in one of the most advantageous positions to buy your team back uh, throughout the entire year. So, yes, you can still see your team. It's not as good as selling your team off the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I had to do it. I did it, I think, Wednesday night actually made the decision on stream because I wanted to get it off before they revealed the All Madden Part 2 players because, of course, whatever positions that released those were going to get crashed on the market one last thing i forgot to put in my editing but i'm going to throw up on the screen Tariq woolen mcs he is the reward for watching the mcs stream on tuesday it's not wednesday this time i know always the stream's been on wednesday it's tuesday i think you have to watch for two hours or an hour and a half to get 90 overall Tariq woolen i know he's a little bit lower overall but one he's gonna get that harvest theme team chemistry and two He's 6'4", he's got 92 speed. He's going to be the best corner in the game for the next few weeks, 100%. He'll be better than Patrick Sertain because he's taller and might even be faster than him. We'll have to wait and see. That's all, though, from Wallet Weekends this weekend. Comment if you have any questions. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, peace.